Hey people, it's now nice talking. Now that defunct African Citizenship One for this story, so this is from Politico. Trump officials rush to introduce untested vaccine tracking system. The Trump administration is betting it can get millions of coronavirus shots to the Americans who need them most, using a new unproven data system that friends to bypass state trackers that have long been mainstays in public immunization programs. The effort, founded by an almost $16 million sole source contract, would help public health officials schedule COVID-19 immunizations and manage vaccine supplies. States have already, ha- already have information systems called vaccine registries that perform the same basic functions and can help doctors see what shots patients already have. But the Trump administration, which has left critical questions about the COVID-19 recovery unanswered, while urging states to take the lead, believes that the scope of the pandemic requires new infrastructure to cover all the providers who might be involved in response. The so-called vaccine, admi- admin- vaccine administration management system is the latest big health data project the administration has launched that follows this summer's bungled rollout of a new system to track coronavirus cases that displaced a system long used by states in the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. The vaccine system is being developed by Deloitte using technology from Salesforce and has been tested in a series of pilot projects in four states over the summer. The CDC says it expects an initial version of the software to be available next month. That worries states who aren't yet sure whether they'll need to use the new system or be able to enhance their existing ones in time. The administration also hasn't yet specified exactly what information will have to be entered as vaccinations begin. It's this bizarre, murky, muddy situation, says Rebecca Coyle, Executive Director of the American Immunization Registration Registry Association, which helps states keep tabs on the childhood and adult vaccinations. Salesforce and Deloitte declined comment. The federal government is telling states to be ready to administer multiple pro- prospective COVID-19 vaccines, most requiring two shots at different times. In the coming months, choreographing that many vaccinations poses a huge logistical logistical challenge. At the heart of the job is software to track in real time if vaccines are working or producing adverse effects to prevent patients from accidentally receiving two different vaccines and to verify identities and ensure the shots go to health workers and are designated at the front of the line. The state's existing vaccine trackers, which have been fine-tuned over decades, could handle some of that work. Local health clinics are already familiar with the technology and could, in theory, be able to use the system for any coronavirus shot that's developed, the way they do for tetanus, polio, chickenpox, and other common vaccines. But officials acknowledge that some new or under-resourced health clinics may not yet be linked to these systems, and states are concerned about whether the federal government will seek tough new data reporting requirements that will essentially force them to use new software. The CDC confirmed it's seeking one contentious category of information, identifiable data tracking specific individuals, which experts say is legally tricky to comply with. Federal officials may want to examine the vast breadth of data to track vaccination efforts, such as information on race and occupation, which current state systems don't have. CDC said it's requiring the data that's collected to be sent to a secure database to weed out duplicate reports. After that, it will then be reported about identifying information to the government. Well, uh, coil registries can perform the same functions already. Healthcare providers who may use a new federal vaccine system haven't yet had the chance to preview it, according to several lobbyists and trade groups. They have not talked to the health system at all about it, said Janice Orlowski, chief healthcare officer at the Association of American Medical Colleges. Letting end users test such systems is a basic checklist system in health software development to reduce the odds of unwelcome surprises when an actual system is rolled out. The CDC says training sessions are in the works and that state immunization programs could have joined calls earlier this month to walk through the program. What CDC is looking to do with the new system is provide a tool that would allow that data capture, allow scheduling things that wouldn't ordinarily be the state's responsibility, said Claire Hannon, Executive Director of the Association of Immunization Managers. One state official familiar with the efforts at CDC is expected detailed data reports once vaccinations begin. Reporting requirements are steep, and if our providers can't meet those, then they can't provide the vaccine, said Chris Erisman, the Minnesota Department of Health's Infectious Disease Director. Staff in Minnesota's Public Health Department have seen partial demonstrations of new technology but haven't been able to pilot or play with, so we don't know if it will meet our needs, Erisman said. There may not be much time to figure that out. States must submit their vaccination plans to CDC by next month, and the Trump administration has told governors they should get ready for coronavirus vaccine distribution by November 1st. Coyle said the new data system is expected to roll out October 1st after officials originally set an October 20 target date. The uncertainty is leaving states stuck between deciding whether to enhance their own IT systems in hopes it'll pass muster or go with the federal one with the only vague assurances it'll meet vaccine scheduling and supply needs. 
The data piece is big, Alan said. If you're going to make changes to make sure you're collecting the right information, those take some time and you may have to be hiring a contractor or a vendor to make those changes. The importance of the data cannot be understated, said Adrian Casalotti, Chief of Government Affairs in the National Association of County and City Health Officials. If local health departments don't have access to that data in as near real time as possible, you're not going to really be able to use it to make changes to ensure that we're getting the vaccine to those who need it. CDC in a statement said there are inconsistent and disparate capabilities among the states and the SIM systems require modernization to support increased reporting, especially to see data in real time. The agency added that data collected with new system will flow back into existing state vaccine databases and is being built given the accelerated timeline needed to implement a national coordinated vaccine tracking approach. We believe it's very important for us to have end-to-end vaccine tracking and dose-level accountability. Nancy Messonier, director of CDC Center for the D- Center for National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases, said in July, that data is crucial to allow flexibility in targeting and allocation and ordering in vaccine management. Federal officials outline gaps in the existing systems in a slide deck, including some system, state systems inability to communicate with each other. In addition to the new reporting system, CDC is planning for states and providers' information to be fed into a central hub known as the Immunization Gateway with the goal of having up-to-date information on coronavirus immunization. But the schedule is daunting if states want to receive real-time data. Onboarding states' current immunizations to the central hub may not be feasible for every jurisdiction before the country begins vaccinating the first group of people, the CDC said in a statement. In those cases, data will be provided to the state systems as quickly as possible. Health, official, health information officials are concerned about patient matching, a phenomenon in which patients with the similar names are mistaken with one another. Poor quality information has been dealt with the healthcare system since the beginning of the pandemic. Sean Granis, Vice President of Data and Analytics at the Ridgeon Street Institute, while, said while the CDC system is serious about addressing the issue, it never does a concern. The agency says the system facilitates pre-identification of eligible patients by an organization or employer. For all that promise, those states are facing a set of looming deadlines without a clear sense of their options. More and more states are unsure of how to proceed, Cole said. This is one of the biggest contributors to my increased Tums consumption. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you might go follow me in the description. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave that there as well. Peace.